And now a heartbreaking case to bring to you tonight, and it is something a parent should never, ever have to see. A mother found her 10-year-old daughter who had committed suicide all because she was being bullied. WRL's Brian went to the Columbus County town of Tadbourne to find out what drove such a young girl to such extreme measures. 10 years old. She had the name of Fragrant Flower, Jasmine. She lived in this house with her mom and grandma who used words like sweet and fun-loving to describe her. I mean, she was just a loving child. I mean, I just don't understand. So hard to understand how this picture of innocence could want to end it all. Her mother, Samantha West, found Monday night in her bedroom, Jasmine McLean had hanged herself with a belt. I just lost it. Because as she took her last breath in my arms, when I got her down, she said, ah, and it was it. There's no doubt that, that it was suicide. Cadburn Police Chief Stephen Shaw was about to leave it at that until he started reading the things on Facebook and social media. Children have started coming forward and making accusations that she was bullied and, and this was that, that she was bullied and bullied bad in school. This is where he went to school, Chadburn Elementary, where the flag flies at half staff. Jasmine's mom says, yes, kids picked on her, but she never imagined her little girl was that tormented. Mom told me kids would tease Jasmine about her shoes or her clothes. She left the school for a time, but returned about a month ago. I dreaded it. It's a shame that kids are that cruel. It really is. Everyone that we have spoken to, they're little indicators. Small, not, not huge indicators. Small indicators that she was not happy. And her death is now a police investigation. But could anybody be criminally liable for her death? I don't, I can't answer that question right now. Answers are hard to come by. When you look at that picture, 10 years old. Brian Mills, WRAL News, Columbus County. Brian also spoke with the school's principal this afternoon. She will not go on camera, but said the school has had an internal investigation going on and is working closely with the police department.